Do you agree that we're living in an era of fake news? Yes, I do. Um, and but I think most of it comes out of the White House. Oh, you think so? Yeah. And how is the White House fake news? Well, I think we have a president who lies constantly. What has he lied about? Everything. Like what? Well, he's lied about his own policies. He's lied about the impact of his policies. What did he lie about concerning his own policies? Well, give me a topic and I'll tell you what he lied about. No, you said he lied. I, I don't know anything he lied about. Uh, you don't think he's lying? I don't you don't think anything. he's a liar? That's why I'm asking you. I haven't seen anything that he's lying about. You, you think what? President Trump tells the truth? What has he lied about? Well, he's lied about uh, the immigration rate. He's lied about immigration policies. What he's, did he lie about when he lied about the immigration rate? Well, he says that it's... You talk about illegals, right? Yes. Okay, illegal aliens. Yeah. Okay, what did he lie about concerning illegal aliens? Well, I think he's painted a picture that, that uh, that's much more dire than it actually is. By doing, can you give me an example? Well, I can't give you an example, you know. Uh, so but there's a crisis at the border. Even a Democrat mayor that is close to, uh, he's from New Mexico, I believe, somewhere. He's complained about the crisis at the borders. How is it that, and, and the, uh, the patrol, border patrols are complaining about it. Why is it that the president is lying about it if everybody else that's working the situation is uh, uh, saying the same thing? Well, he's lying about what the cause is. He's lying about what he's doing about it. He's lying about, he's, uh, he's, 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 li he's lied about his treatment of immigrants at the border. Okay, Come on, Jesse, you, you know all this. You I'm, say he lied about the cause. What, what did he say the cause of it? Well, he says, uh, you know, Trump talks about uh, caravans. He talks about America being under assault. This is just That's a reality. It's not a reality. It's a I gross. No it's a gross it's exaggeration. The border. It's the reality. How is he lying? The border patrols are saying the Mexican border patrols are saying the same thing. Are they lying too? Yes. So they all if that's lie. what they're saying, Have they're you lying. Gone yes. down to the I've been to the border. Is yes. The Mexicans who are border patrols, they're lying too. I I don't know who who the Mexicans are. They're border you're patrols talking about. who are Mexicans. Are they lying about it? Too? I, I don't know what specifically they're saying that you're referring to. I mean, are you for the wall, the big beautiful wall going up around the borders? No. You're not. You want open borders in America. That's not the same thing. You, you don't want a wall up at the borders. I think a wall, I, I think, look, immigration experts say the wall that you're talking about and that <clears throat> Trump is talking about will be completely ineffective. So you don't This is not where illegal immigrants cross. So you, as a, you are American, right? Citizen. I am an American citizen. As an American citizen, Jewish American citizen. An American citizen. A big, beautiful wall up around the border of no. America. No. So are I you think that's, a wall up around Israel? What wall are you talking about? Are you against, Israel put a wall up. Are you against that wall going up? Well, Israel is at war. Is what? Is at war. So are you for the wall or against it? I'm, I, I'm in favor of Israel's security. How about the wall? Which wall? In Israel. I don't think Israel has handled its security needs very well, if that's what you're asking. But you're still not answering the question about the wall. I'm black and slow, so forgive me, all right? Yeah. I, you know how we are. <laughs> that's, you're very modest. <laughs> So Israel put a war, I believe it's... Look, Israel is in a very different security position from so, the United States. So are you for the war around Israel? I, I, as I said, I, you know, I don't really know, you know, the Israeli situation enough, but I do know is that they are in a very different security position from the United States. And so are you for the war around Israel? I don't know. But you know that you're not for the war around America. The wall, yes, I am not for a wall around America. I don't think it could possibly work. I think it so will cost a so fortune. So sure that you're not for the wall around America, that you not for a wall around America, but you're sure that you're not for a wall around, you for a wall around Israel. Doesn't make sense. No, I said I wasn't sure about Israel. Why are you not sure? Because I don't know the Israeli situation well enough. You're a journalist. You do know the American, the, what's happening in Israel. You know, just because I'm a journalist doesn't mean I know everything about everything. Have you ever gone to Israel? Yes, I've been to and Israel. And so you have no idea what's happening there? Uh, not at the moment, no. So is Israel, does Israel have a right to protect itself? Yes, of course it does. But America doesn't. I didn't say that. When, does Israel have the right to protect itself by putting up a wall? I don't know. 
Does America have a right to protect itself by putting up a wall? I don't think a wall will protect America. That's amazing. That's really amazing. So I I'm glad that, you're amazed. I, I take it that you don't like the great white hope. What great white hope? You don't know who the great white hope is? You mean the great white hope in boxing? <laughs> no, the great white hope in the White House. Who's oh. really doing some serious boxing uh, oh. for the great white hope. You mean Donald Trump? Yes. I don't think he's a very good president. You don't? No. Uh, did you vote for him? No. Who did you vote for? I voted for Hillary Clinton. You voted for Hillary? Yes. That's shocking. Why? Why are you shocked? Because I just can't imagine a man voting for lying, crooked Hillary. You know what I mean? Uh, no. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I can't get past, and I love Israel, I have to admit it, but I can't get past you being a Jewish guy living in America, a country like America. It's the greatest country on this side of heaven, but for some reason you don't want a wall around America, but you seem not to mind the wall around Israel. I, I don't understand that. Well, I I, 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 as I said, and I'll repeat, I don't know the Israeli security p position today well enough to make that judgment. They are protecting the Jews but, uh, from the Palestinians. Well, that's not exactly... No, that's 100%. Because that's not exactly Jews. what's going on because what there, are, on there? there are Palestinians... Well, there, there are Israeli... I didn't say I didn't know There's anything. All of a sudden you know. Now, I, I'm, now, I didn't say I didn't know anything, but I do know that there are Palestinian Israelis living in Israel. And I do know that this is a much more complicated situation than you're giving it credit for. And in fact, in the American Jewish community, there is not a unanimity of opinion as to uh, um, uh, Israeli policies. There's not a unanimity of opinion about Netanyahu's policies. There's real debate going on. Uh, you know, uh, American Jews- Why has it, why does, I mean, but Israel does, I've been to Israel and they have a war. I've been to the war. The people can't come across the war. Uh, Israel have a powerful military, and they're very smart in what they're doing. Why don't you want the same thing for America? Well, first of all, Israeli policy is not built entirely around a wall. And in fact, Israeli no, policy- They do have a wall. Uh, Israeli policy has, the security policy, has failed in part because it, it relies on physical security when in fact, you know, what, what I saw when I was there and that was 15 years ago, in fact, the real key to Israeli security is economics. It's got to share I its economic that, power that with- That may be important, but they have a wall. And I want a wall around my country, and I don't understand why you don't want a wall. I got to ask you this. I just found this out the other day. There are people like George, George Soros, I believe. He's a liberal Jew, too, right? Isn't that right? Well, he's Jewish. And he's liberal, too. If you wish. No, is he? I'm not asking. Because you know better than me. I don't know George Soros, so. And I heard that if people like him with money who are going, either funding somebody that's funding somebody, and they're going to these foreign countries, and they are paying and encouraging these, these godless people to come to our country by way of illegal, right? Illegal way. And they, I don't understand why they want to destroy America. Jesse, I don't know where you get this impression, but it's, it's, it sounds like a complete fabrication. And they want to do it for the power and the money. Well, I, I think you're... Is that true I, or not? As I, a Look, I think you're living in a fantasy world when so you're talking about this. Am I, slow, am I wrong about that information? I, I don't know where you get this. Where did you get the information? Is it wrong? Who told you? You hear it all over now. I see it. All over where? I don't all hear it. The country now. You I, hear the, about it. You know, I, I don't hear this. He's not doing that? I don't know. I, I, there's no evidence I've ever seen of this. This sounds like a right-wing fantasy. Amazing. So who's paying and educating these people to get here? I even met some of those people and they say that there are Americans coming there and training them and telling them what to do. Once they put their feet on, on American soil, they're here. They've been told that. Told and, by whom? Is that true that once they put their feet on American soil, are they here to stay for the most part? I, I don't know. You don't know if that's happened with the illegal alien? No, I, I, I think there are many illegal immigrants who go home. 
But there's but if they put their feet on American soil, uh, are they more likely to stay rather than to be sent back home? I have no idea what you have. About. Do you know there's a law that says that? A law that says what? Once they make it to America, they have to have a hearing and all that crap. Why is a hearing crap? Because they're illegal aliens, and that should not be a law. Are you familiar with that law? I, uh, if, if what you're talking about is a, a, a hearing about their asylum right. claims, yes, yes I, I know that that law exists. I don't know the particulars. That law? Yeah, I think if somebody comes here and is seeking asylum, they should have due process and a hearing to determine whether they deserve it. What's wrong with that? They in Israel? I, I don't know if the situation is analogous. No, should the same thing happen in Israel? If there's a law in Israel that says once they hit the ground of Israel, they should get uh, a, a hearing before sending them. I, I don't know that that law exists. Would you be in support of a law like that in Israel? I have no opinion. That's amazing to me. Why? It's disappointing to be honest. Why?